Themes is the Academy for Math, Engineering, and Science in Salt Lake City, Utah. We've put together this short film which contains statements from students and administrators, both past and current, that illustrate what AIMS does and why it's worthy of your support. AIMS is a small, high-performing, early college public charter high school with the mission of preparing a diverse student population for success in college. We're also a Title I school. This means that we have an unusually large population of students from low-income households. They are, in large part, our target population. AIMS successfully adheres to its mission. It's also one of the most fiscally responsible schools in the state, but it needs your help. We want to provide even more opportunities to our students, and your donations can help make this a reality. Thank you for taking the time to listen to us. Man, this is the stuff that I really enjoy doing. And because of AIMS and the opportunities that they've given me, I've been able to unlock my potential, and I was actually accepted to both Stanford and MIT. And, I mean, a lot of that work was my own, and I did work very hard to get that far. But it was because of AIMS and the opportunities that they offered me that I was able to apply my craft and learn so much and exceed to the point that I have. Over the 11 years that AIMS has been in session, we've had wide variability in who we serve, but the primary focus is that we do serve ethnic populations, we serve disadvantaged students, and those numbers have run as high as 54% ethnic minorities, as high as 48% economically disadvantaged. We also serve a wide number of very high achieving students that want to come to AIMS and want to succeed because of the math engineering focus here at Ames. I always knew I wanted to go to college and I always knew I liked science but Ames made me know what kind of person I want to be. It made me know that I want to be that kid that spends their weekends doing experiments in their garage. I wanted to be that kid that reads all the time and just knows random facts. It just made me realize that there's a lot more to life than just one thing. And the more you know, the more interesting you are and the more you have available to you. My geometry class really helped me take the geometric shapes from what I learned and to incorporate that into my artwork. And then in earth science, I took that and I looked at the landscapes and I looked at the beauty and the shapes from that too. And I incorporated that. But then what really got me was the minerals that I've learned about and the shapes and how beautiful they were, how they were formed, and it just really inspired me to do a lot of abstract art. I want to be a doctor. It's going to take strong math and science skills in order for me to pursue that goal. That's why I'm here. Right now my plan is to study mechanical engineering for a bachelor's and master's down there, and then my plan right now is to apply to a law school. So the incident in my previous school where my counselor told me that you know college wasn't for me and that I should go to cosmetology really served as um, a push for me to come to Ames and then Ames was the tool for me to prove her wrong, right? And so now I, you know, I, that's that scenario still drives me to keep going and you know I have a master's degree now and I'm not in cosmetology school and I think I'm pretty successful. How AIM changed my life with regard to this internship was it made me realize I really don't want to be an astronomer. <laughs> I, I love astronomy, but right now it's more of a hobby. Um, but one of the projects I worked on was the design of a 1-6 gravity simulator. Um, they're basically a device that, that uh, anyone can go, can go into and simulate the, the gravity in the moon. And it was then when I realized, you know what, this is, this is really cool. And I decided to, to go into engineering and um, in a couple of months I'll be graduating with a Bachelor's of Science in Civil Engineering. Um, and part of that stemmed from that, that, one, that one internship um, that was made possible because of AMS. This is way innovative. Small school, 
focus on a diverse population. Let's get kids prepared for multiple careers, in particular those that have to do with science, technology, engineering, and math. And we're going to make this thing really uh, an innovative choice, a creative choice for high school students. Ames has a really cool robotics club. Everyone here talks about them. Everyone goes to the competitions. They cheer them on. It's kind of like Ames sports team here. But they need to pay for tools, teachers, materials, and travels, and they need help. I think a lot of people grow up with the idea that women can't be a part of the engineering field. But when I came here and joined the robotics team and just saw all of the girls on there who were, so, who were so confident with their abilities, I realized that that was a possibility for me as a career. Ames is really special to me because it's helped me discover that there is a wide, wide world out there. And I was part of the art class, and me being an engineer, I never really thought I would enjoy art, but I ended up finding that I really enjoyed art, and it was something that I could really sink my teeth into and just thoroughly enjoy after a hard day of physics. Eleven years ago when Ames was founded in 2003, many of the students on the west side of the Salt Lake Valley did not have access to high rigorous programs um, such as magnet schools, such as international baccalaureate schools, or such as early college high schools. So in partnership with Salt Lake and Granite School District, Ames was founded with the opportunity of provo providing high rigorous, high academic classes to students. To fulfill the student need on the west side, we have allowed and set up busing for our students. Currently 202 of our 491 students arrive each day on a school bus uh, from the west side predominantly. Many other students come from many areas around the valley, um, but not through our busing. Um, that's predominantly so that we provide Salt Lake and Granite School Districts, predominantly the west side of those districts, those students an opportunity to high rigorous academic programs such that we offer here at Ames. If it wasn't for the buses at Ames, I wouldn't have a chance to get here and learn something new. Uh, so both my parents worked when I was at Ames, and I did not own a car. <laughs> my parents did not have the money to buy me a car. So I took the bus all four years, uh, maybe a little bit less senior year, but I definitely took the bus every day. Um, began attending Ames, I was only in ninth grade, and driving wasn't even an option. And, and then later on, when I was of age, it was still not an option and it would never have been because that wasn't something that was in our my parents financial reach um, so the bus was crucial um, in order for me to attend Ames um, it made all the difference and it also I think it solidified a lot of uh, the friendships I know it might sound small but it like the bus really made a difference in my friendships especially like if we think about the populations that are coming to Ames from the west side, right? Like a lot of us are students of color. And to sort of have that bus as our safe space to just, you know, hang out and talk, um, I think was really healthy for us. Um, so I, I really appreciated that there was a bus. Um, I, I work at a charter right now and we don't have a bus and I've lost three students because we couldn't, we couldn't provide transportation for them. But there are other parts of the Ames program that our teachers and our parents and our kids have done almost on zero resources. So even the smallest support can help us with transportation. If we don't have a consistent transportation system, we won't be able to keep our diverse population attending a school that is considerably farther away. I look forward to the point in my life when I can help give back to Ames after it's given so much to me. Investing in Ames, you'll be investing in the future. It makes sense to give to a school like Ames. They will use it in the best possible way on people like me. I know that for myself, I wouldn't you know, have been able to graduate college and to receive my master's degree if it wasn't for Ames. And you know, Ames is 11 years old now and we've had a lot of wonderful students um, coming through. Um, and I would, I would hate for, not, for other students to not have the same opportunity that I did because of funding. Utah's economy is growing rapidly, and this is in part because of the influx of technology companies. Ames is going to provide the workforce for those companies. Ames students are the future of Utah's economy.
Tomorrow, I'll be in a position from where I can help Ames. But today, it's up to you. Thank you for even considering donating to Ames. I mean, it's the best high school experience you could possibly have. And by helping, you make that possible for kids who wouldn't otherwise. And you can help change lives. Since Ames opened its doors, it has been recognized repeatedly as the most fiscally responsible and well-run charter high school in the state of Utah. Thank you for listening to our plea and know that your donations will be well spent. Alright, we're live? Yeah. Okay, throttle in three, two, one.